Hello everyone, this is going to be a short webinar around the role of the club coaching officer. At this time of year, at the time of this recording, AGMs are happening throughout clubs around the county and this will the aim of this webinar is just to describe the role of the club coaching officer, the remit of it, and maybe to highlight a few areas that we feel are key. So what is the role and the remit um, of the coaching officer? So as the club coaching officer, you're basically the captain of the ship with regards to coaching within the club. You're going to provide direction for coaching for all codes within the club. Um, you'll also establish and chair the coaching committee. Um, coaching committee will be made up of your child um, protection officer, um, at least one representative from each of the teams throughout your, your underage, um, your equipment coordinator, the club school liaison officer, and um, people like that. And hopefully, you will re schedule regular coaching committee meetings. Ideally, they say um, every four to six weeks, but um, a minimum, a minimum of one a quarter. Um, and in the meetings, you will be able to meet the needs or establish any needs of your teams or anything arising around coaching, and you will deal with them problems effectively. Um, you'll also be able to, as a result of it, be able to provide regular reports to the executive committee and then again that gives the, everyone in the club um, an overall picture of what's happening within the club and that'll help um, with the direction of the club overall. Um, you'll also have an involvement in the appointment of the underage coaches in your club and a very important one here is to um, oversee an effective club school link. There is another webinar available um, on our website that Keith um, has up there and it goes more in depth into the club school link and how important it is for your club. Um, I can't emphasize that enough. How often do you get nearly all of your active playing members together in an area and also a way of getting new underage members. Um, you also play a little role in devising, if you already haven't got one, and developing the club coaching plan. We're going to have a little bit more of a discussion on that, uh, or I'll talk a little bit more about that in the next couple of slides. You um, I'm also have responsibility of the implementation and the monitoring of the club coaching plan. So. If and when you get your club coaching plan in place, that you're making sure that it's adhered to um, throughout the club. Uh, you also will oversee coach education programs within the club, working with the, um, the children's officer for child protection, but also making sure that your coaches are getting um, everything they need with regard to upskilling their coaching levels, uh, doing the foundation courses level one, um, and making sure that they know of any of the um, county coaching days or workshops being put on and also any of the coaching workshops Ulster provide um, especially around this time of year or the time of this recording around the winter months. So this is where you will sit within the, the coaching and game structure. As you can see the club coaching officer you're at the centre of it all. You're facilitating everyone um, you oversee and help implement um, everything around coaching from your children officer, equipment coordinator, school liaison officer at the top, um, right through all your underage teams from Gaelic start to your under eight, under tens. So that player pathway, part of your club coaching plan is being adhered to. So when your players reach the um, under 18, under 17 role that we're producing or you're producing as a club um, a high caliber of a player that has enjoyed their their coaching or their playing journey the whole way up through. So as the club coaching officer you facilitate all these people making sure their needs are met but also that the club coaching plan is being adhered to so the overall picture is being implemented. Um, so. 
you've got a good coaching plan in place, it's also good this time of year to carry out a SWOT analysis of the club, whether for the first time or something you should do um, annually, just to establish where you are as a club with regards to coaching. So it'll help define where the club is currently at and also use to form a plan going forward. Set your coaching goals for the year. Um, it'll highlight what has been done well in regards to coaching and also it'll reveal areas that the club can improve on with coaching. And another thing that will help will do um, is get all coaches on the same page and an overall agreement of where you are at and where you intend to go within the coming year or longer term settings, one year, three year, five year, ten years. So um, your SWOT analysis, which can be facilitated by your county coaching officers, we will come out and help you hold this meeting with all your coaches. We would uh, take the meeting for you and this would help form your coaching plan going forward. Um, this is an example of one of the exercises carried out on that SWOT analysis. So let's have a look on what you're doing well with club coaching, some of the bad things that you need to stop doing, some of the things that you're doing occasionally, uh, and things that your club currently doesn't do, but that your coaches feel that you must start doing. So there's a great exercise uh, to reveal where your club is currently at. So the result of SWOT analysis, it'll give you an overall picture of the coaching within your club and help establish where the club is currently at because if you don't know where you are in the map it's difficult to plan the route ahead and there's an example of a filled out SWOT analysis form and um, things that this club felt they were doing well was their coach education was good that all their coaches had a foundation and um, they also felt that the filling and fixtures was good and that the club was organizing coaching games within the club you're organizing internal blitzes but it'll also highlight things that you can improve on so one of the bad things that this club identified were coaching off the cuff landing down to the pitch and just rocking into the car onto the field and um, again if you have your coaching plan in place this will help eliminate things like coaching off the cuff that you will have a, an overall plan in place for all your age groups and resources available for them again this is something your county coaches can help you implement or get in place within the club um, training sessions are poor communications and lose children from under 14 upwards so as well your SWOT analysis it can really help there's a, a key area that they identified within this club was they're losing children from under 14 upwards so that starts a larger discussion on why that is happening and how you can um, correct it so uh, your coaching plan a good way of thinking of it is if you use the, the, the grow model to, um, to plan your journey first you decide where you want to go set your goals within your club as a coach coaching officer you'll be one of the key drivers of this setting the goals and um, where you're aiming towards whether that is to get your coaches educated or to get a coaching plan in place or to um, a longer term plan to try and win a championship yeah, you then explore various routes, the options, how are you going to get your destination, how are you going to get your club organised, that your desired goal you'll be able to get there. And the final step, you'll assure that you're committed to making the journey. So as a result of your SWOT analysis, there will be aims set, um, but also there will be a time frame put in there and the aims and them targets to make sure they are hit, that they're actionable and people are responsible for them, that we just don't put things out on paper and not implement them. But as the, the club coaching officer in the club, you will be one of the main drivers of this um, and any help you need with this, just reach out to the, reach out to the county coaches and we can help implement the do a quite new SWOT analysis for you and that'll be the basis for your, your club plan going forward which is a great start to do if you haven't already done it but even if you have a club coaching plan in place it, it's an active thing and as the coach development officer um, it is up to you to make sure that the club coaching plan which is going to be a live and active thing that it is 
constantly developing, you're constantly trying to improve and finding better ways of doing what you're currently doing well and also eradicating things that you feel are not effective for the club. So again, there's the contact details, you can even call Teresa in the office there, she'll be too happy to arrange a meeting or to get one of us to contact you and um, you can take it from there. All right, thanks for listening.